Then dozens of people are going on three days of interlodge up Little Cottonwood Canyon as UDOT works to clear some of the biggest slides they've ever faced on that canyon road, as we showed you. New specialist Mike Anderson is talking with one man who is up there. Mike, how are things going? I'm not sure whether to be jealous or to feel bad. Yeah, that remains to be seen, but, uh, you know, everyone's safe. He says that uh, one person was flown out for medical needs, but otherwise, he says the Interlodge, it's doing its job, keeping people out of avalanche danger. But, you know, whether this ends up being sort of a snowboarder's dream still remains to be seen. When your passion is getting first dibs on the fresh powder, sometimes the lengths you'll take to get there can get you this. I've been up here since Sunday night cannot leave the building. Steve Connie came here expecting the interlodge, hoping for it to cut out the crowds, giving people like him the so-called country club access. But it's also part of the risk. It's really a game because you never know what's going to open and when things are going to open. He did get in some runs kind of like this Monday, but otherwise he's mostly been inside the cliff lodge at Snowbird. It can be painful to be up here watching everybody ski everywhere else, but you know, if a mountain opens um, and you get first dibs on 60 inches of snow, it makes everything worth it. Connie runs powderchasers.com, so they live for these experiences. He otherwise works remotely, which makes this all possible. Just a couple of hours ago, guests were finally let outside to dig their cars out. Still, whether this interlodge will be worth it remains to be seen, but that's okay. There's new slide paths forming. There's different activity going on that they've never seen before. And with so much snow load, uh, if something does come down, it's going to be big. He's had to hunker down at the lodge much longer than expected, but after experiencing some of the best snow in decades all this season, he says the risk of losing time in return for safety is one he can afford. It's for a reason, and I respect it. And while there is, you know, limited staff up the canyon right now, Connie says that the folks at Snowbird are doing everything they can to make sure people have what they need, keeping the restaurants open. But, uh, you know, he came prepared uh, just in case he brought with him three days worth of his own food. Back to you. Wow, with the look of that video, it might have already been worth it. <laughs> I'm not sure, Mike, but thank you.